Okay, so hello, and this is Jada Ashley Spencer with RD Brewery. I've been putting this off for so long, but today and tomorrow we'll be we're going to be doing it. So um, I am going to be bottling up the Nuki Brown Ale. I'm going to be using um, brown sugar and light malt, and then tomorrow I'll be using caster sugar, and then whatever's left, then we'll just split it and all that jazz so yeah so uh let's let, let let's uh, fill up the bottles with um molten sugar okay so yeah i've been honestly i should have done this absolutely ages ago but i just haven't so now we're gonna be doing it so i've got all my bottles here i've all been um thingied um, sterilizing that. This won't be enough for the actual, um, this won't be enough for the actual, um, what's it called? Barrel. So tonight I think we're going to sterilize some more and then uh, go off that. So yeah. Right. So I've got my, got these, got my, it's my brown sugar. It's my malt in here. Um, yeah, so we would be adding a teaspoon of malt and a teaspoon of um, brown sugar. So let, let me let me see how many bottles we got. So let me split it evenly. Right, by the way, I'm not actually counting this. I'm just splitting them up. I should really count it, but. I can't really do what. We got enough for like equal. Uh, no. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Right. Switch one of these. Uh, right, so we're gonna fill up. <laughs> we're gonna try and go. Um, thingy as mm, possible, similar as possible. So yeah. Right, so put that there. Put that there. Get Stella. Stella. Some of these I just can't take off. I just need my bottle opener. Where's my bottle opener? I have lost my bottle opener. Oh my god. I literally put it in the drawer so I wouldn't lose it and now I've lost it. I don't know why I'm opening it like this. It, literally, I've just destroyed that bottle cap. Right, we'll do these five first and then we'll move on to stuff. So, I'm going to do. This side is more. And then the other side is uh, thingy. The annoying thing with the more is kind of like. Crystal up, but it's kind of like rocks up.
Okay, let's just go stop. Great start, Joe. Great start. So what I might do with the upcoming episodes, instead of filming this bit, I might film... Uh, how do you know? Oh, I'll stick to the same factor. Screw it. Honestly, this is quite annoying. I'm just getting stuck. If you haven't seen my video before this of how it tastes, go and check that out because uh, I say it's better to uh, check out how it tastes first than, uh, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is fill these up first and then, yeah, that's what we'll do. Sweet as. I don't really want to contaminate stuff, so. Make sure it's completely. Get down there, monkey. Okay, so the easiest way to pull this, obviously, keep it on the edge. Open this up. Get a little bit of air to it, because then it'll start flowing faster. And it's better. Alright, so just go like this. There we go. And then We'll pour a little bit more in. There you go. And then we'll cap it. <laughs> Honestly, this stuff tastes like Guinness. It's crazy. It kind of looks like Guinness as well, so that's pretty mad. Then we'll just we'll just fill all. We'll do all five. All five up, and then uh, yeah. I don't know how much malt we're going to get out of this, but whatever. I don't think we'll be able to match it, perfectly match it, but we'll, we'll get close. Don't worry about that. Up to there. So I'm just putting these on just like this, just temporarily. And then once I fill these up, then I'll cap them. I cap them properly, so yeah. Fill these up. Go up a little bit more. So I think after this, after I've done this one, literally got a metal beer that I need to put in here. Then I'm gonna take a little break and focus on um, my other channel, like doing my car. And um, yeah. Then maybe running up to Christmas, then I'll come back onto this. It's November now, so yeah. All right, let's cap these. Let's cap these babies. Okay, so. The ones in the Corona bottles look quite funky, not gonna lie. Just gonna double, double it down and sort of thing. So nice. Caps properly. Sweet. I might do the same thing that I used to do. So I like taste that. So I've tasted one on the day. Well, I'll, I'll taste one out of bottle as well, because normally out of bottle it tastes a bit different. Really enough. 
So I do one one day, and then on day three, do another taste. And day five, or something, day seven. No, day one, day three, day seven, and like a month or something, or two weeks. That looks that looks wicked. <laughs> that looks cool. Alright. I'm gonna split up all these bottles in sort of matching pairs and then we're gonna fill them all up. Okay, so um, I've literally filled up uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 bottles. Basically, what I want to uh, do with this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill up, um, it's basically going to be like the first eight tests sort of thing, but... Um, so I'm going to fill up 16 of them, or how many I just counted, and then do 16 of the brown sugar and 16 of the uh, uh, white sugar, and then I'm just going to do the rest in another video. But at the end of each video, I'm going to take the first day one and taste it. So that's what we're going to do. But instead of pouring into a glass, which I've actually already done before this, I'm going to crack it open. There's no fizz because it's literally just, yeah, just done. And then I'm just going to have it like this. So, yeah, chins up. Honestly, it should taste different because it's in a bottle, not a glass. So. Yeah, mate. I actually like this. <laughs> I do like this. It does. It does really taste like a weird Guinness. really weird knife. Yeah, really weird Guinness. I'd just say it. I do like it. It's mad how brown it is. I thought it wouldn't be that brown. In the barrel it looks brown, but when I had it with sugar, or two sugars, and on its own, 
it wasn't that brown kind of see-through but this is this is like I don't know quite dark it's quite dark it's good as well so yeah No, this is well good. I can't wait to taste the brown sugar one again. Because that, that was actually... That was alright. It was a different taste. It was a completely different taste to this one. So, yeah. Well, was it? By the end of tomorrow, I'm going to... That's, that's all going to go. Because I need to tidy up my room a bit. And, yeah and then start preparing for my next batch, which is going to be um, the dark fruits or wild berries, whatever it's called. I feel like with the wild berries, I'm gonna push that video out quite early, just with, yeah. Kind of like step to step. Actually, no, I can't really do that because I've already done all the videos, but yeah. I'll just show my mate in person. So right at the end, I got more of that multi taste, but as, as the beer gets older sort of thing, Three days, it will start mi mixing in and all that. But yeah, no, that, that was all right. That was decent. Um, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to do it some more. Uh, we're we're, we're going to have another one of these um, today as well. So, well, the brown sugar bearing. So, yeah. So, I'm going to wash that up. Put them in my pot pile stuff and then um yeah i'll wash that out today so yeah anyway um this has been jada ashley spencer uh this little series with these ones it'll be in three i think the next bit will be in like three videos time or something where we do the uh day three and then it'll just so it'll be like day three that day one of this Day one of the brown sugar, day one of the white sugar. And then we'll, we'll just um, empty the rest out. And it'll be day three of this one, day three of brown, day three of white, then day seven of this, day seven of brown and white, and so on and so on. So you kind of get it like that. So he has. So I'm going to end it here. So this has been Chad Ashley Spencer with RD Brewery. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. If you like what you've seen, please leave a like. <laughs> and um, if you have any comments, just put it down in the description what you want me to make next time um, or in the future. Um, I am basically, there's a shop called Wilco in the UK. I'm literally going to buy every single beer they have and try and make that. So, yeah. I'll try and do it simple and then, yeah. Actually, I've got an idea. I'm going to do four types of this beer. So one with nothing, one with white sugar, one with brown sugar, one with this. So yeah. So anyway, it's been Chad Ashley Spencer with RD Brewery. Thanks for watching and bye.